So, I was thinking to myself, when will Feminazi Month ever come? I mean, not Feminazi Month, Feminazi Week come to an end because I started on Wednesday and it should end on Wednesday. But here I am making a video talking about another feminist. So, when's going to come to an end? Maybe never. You see, feminism is like a hydra. You cut off one head, two more will grow back. The only way to kill a hydra is to stab it right in the heart. Problem is, that's easier said than done. So, what I'm doing right now is going after another hydra. As soon as I slay this one, another one will pop out of nowhere and who knows maybe this the next hydra might actually put up a challenge i don't know so there's this youtuber same problem with the last youtuber that i have many likes few dislikes defending feminism but i bet by the time i'm done with this person I'm pretty sure many, many people on YouTube will find her video, dislike it, because this person is stupid. And I'm going to show how stupid she is. Let's go. Hello. Hello. It's been a little while, hasn't it? Where have I been? No one knows. No one knows. Presumably dead. Maybe. So, um, so it was International Women's Day last week and it sort of inspired me into making this video and I wanted to make it for the day but as I'm doing A-levels, <laughs> they, they ruin everything. They make everything that you love hateful and they make you want to kill yourself. Since fucking when do males make you hate everything, you know? What, all of a sudden, you know, if a man, you know, if you see a man, all of a sudden, you're just gonna start hating things like, oh, I hate shopping, you know, I hate painting my nails, I hate wearing a t-shirt. Well, I can tell you're pretty much a sexist. It's great that you're straightforward with it. Don't worry. Positivity is what surrounds Hattie at the moment. So I wanted to talk about how I don't like how people use feminist as a dirty word when it's really not. It's a great word which expresses a lot of opinions in a good way. <laughs> really? Okay. Let me show you the If you shut the fuck up and let me read my list, there's the fucking proof. And so I, can't, I obviously can't like... So, number one, number one, shut the fuck up for a second. Feminists do not want you to lose custody of your children. The assumption that women are naturally better caregivers is part of patriarchy. Yes, that is one good way to spread your opinion. But let's set that aside and, 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 you know, just focus on the part where you said that feminism is spreading an opinion uh, in a good way. Well, guess what? Your opinion sucks ass because it, it, I mean, your methods on how to achieve equality or what is equality pretty much fucking sucks. I, I've heard... You know, the exact same arguments from feminists, from every freaking, every freaking time I make a video on feminists, it's the same crap. Whatever is the wage gap argument or how women are represented in media. I have counteracted this shit. And yet there are more and more feminists coming out of nowhere with the same bullshit over and over again. You are no different. I feel like men hating people and people who are just naive to what feminism is have corrupted the word feminist into something that it's not. 
Are you fucking kidding me? We haven't corrupted f the term feminism. If anything, you guys corrupted feminism because, you know, we have feminists, you know, protesting against the MRA. We have feminists telling us that if you're not a feminist, then you should be ashamed of yourself, that you're not, you know, you're not human, that you're despicable, and all that piece, all that shit. And you're telling us that we corrupted the term feminism. That's a load of shit. In fact, I bet you're the type of feminist that if receive even any amount of criticism, you know, either A, crawls up into a shell, tells me that, you tell me that I'm a misogynist and I don't have to deal with your shit, and then just ignore my existence, or B, hide behind your fans and tell them, oh, look at this guy, he's a misogynist. Go attack him, defend me, defend me. I'm a woman. Defend me! I am very doubtful that you're going to make a video response debunking me. Because I've seen how feminists act. And I am very, very sure that you are no different from your average everyday feminist. And that irritates me. Modern day feminists have been given a bad reputation and in my opinion, feminism is about wanting equality. It's something that a lot of people believe in and it doesn't have to be aggressive for it to happen. A world completely free of men wouldn't work. Not just for the biological baby making reasons either. You know, biologically it wouldn't work, but also it wouldn't work because we need men and women. Most of my friends are boys. The reason I went to a mixed school is because I couldn't handle being in a school full of girls all the time. Sometimes, girls are really annoying. And you need some boys to talk to, just to get it out of your system. I have male friends, and I have female friends, and I get along with both. So, I obviously don't hate men, that's not what feminism is. Well, congrats, you got male friends, so so do I, so do many feminists, actually. But it doesn't change the fact that feminism is still scum. It doesn't change the fact that feminists tend to make themselves all high and mighty because they have a vagina. I mean, yeah, you, you don't hate men, no. Instead, you just feel like men should have this specific amount, of, this specific rule to respect women. So that way, you can consider yourself equal towards men. But would I be all surprised if it turns out that all your male friends are people that you either friend zone or those male friends are just your typical internet white knight that you see on the internet? I wouldn't be all that shocked. It's, it's not even liking women more than men. People need to be educated on this sort of thing. To label all men misogynists is completely ridiculous and unintelligent. But it's okay to call them misogynists if they oppose your opinion. And, and I stress and understand that there are cases of female suppression and misogyny that need to be brought to the attention of the public eye and the media. We can't, we can't make a rash decision about someone without knowing all the facts and that's what I like to tell people that you can't assume something about someone unless you know it. Funny considering that many feminists tend to do that anyway. And you know what's kind of ironic is my bet is that you're one of those people that when you just heard the word equality then you just jump aboard because you know what? Hey, feminism is equality. We can't argue with that. <sighs> Have you actually studied the criticism that is actually given towards feminists? Have you actually looked at any video, any video on the internet destroying feminist arguments? My bet is no. And it's not just men that assume negative connotations of the word feminism. 
there have genuinely been girls that have assumed that because I'm a feminist, I'm a crazy man-hating bra-burning lesbian, when only really the, not the man-hating or the bra-burning bit. In fact, men can be feminists. Female empowerment is an idea and a dream that can be shared by men and women and everyone should support it. Uh, don't you mean female supremacy? I've seen on how male feminists act most of the time. They're just, they're, they're just hating on their own goddamn gender because they feel like women haven't been treated uh, well enough and we should, you know, treat them with respect. You know, because it's not enough that women get more power. No, us men need to lose some power. We just want equality. We don't want to overrun the country. We just want to get equal pay. I know it. I know it. It had to come out. It just had to come out. I thought you would never say it. You want equal pay. May I remind you? That men are more likely to die at their jobs, that men have to pay for child support. Uh, let's see, what else? Men work overtime. Yes, how dare we earn extra money? And equal respect. I like to use a comparison, obviously in a less extreme way, to that of terrorists. Say a terrorist commits a horrible, unforgiving act and claim they do it for their country or their religion. The entire country or religion then gets labelled as terrorists and it's really not fair. Likewise, some women went mad in the 60s and then every feminist is assumed to be like that. Okay, that's fair, you know, that's fine. Um, generaliz generalization is bad, I get it. However, this isn't the minority within a minority. This is the majority within a minority. Most feminists always use the exact same double standards that they always, always love to abuse. Whatever is coming from the wage gap argument, the representation of women, or, uh, on how women are, are treated in, in the world. I mean, god damn. Feminism is just like communism. On a piece of paper, it sounds good. In action, it fails at a massive grand scale. And sometimes what needs to be done has to be radical for change. You know, we didn't get the vote for being nice and asking politely. We had to chain ourselves to bars and zoos and stuff because that's how extreme the world is and it's weird and crazy. Yes, okay, there are circumstances when feminism isn't just about equality, it's standing up against objectifying and marginalising women, and it's something that needs to be supported. So if you haven't already considered feminism, you should try it, because it's not like you need to sign up for anything. Well, if that's the case, why not, you know, start supporting humanism? Why not support nudism? Nudism. Um, it's fighting for equality, you know, they, they believe in equality. Um, the MRA, yes, the men's right activists are currently fighting for equal rights. Why aren't you, you know, promoting them? Why promote feminism? See, that's the thing. You just don't see those other groups of people, you know, worth mentioning. Because, to you, they're not really fighting for equal rights. They're just, you know, it's just not good enough. No one should try out feminism because it fails. It turns you into a self-hating person. There are statistics shown that feminism makes you fucking miserable. And I can actually tell that some of these feminists are pretty fucking miserable because, I mean, who wouldn't? Who wouldn't be miserable as a feminist? You know, um, me being told that I, as a male, is, 
you know, I'm just the oppressor. And as the oppressor, I should pay for my crimes. That's what feminism is. It's not all bra burning and men hating. It's a collective idea that men and women should have equal rights on this planet. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go and burn some bras and stab some men. I think it's... That was a joke. That was... If you're intelligent enough, you'll get it. It was sarcasm. The point of a joke is to be funny. You're not funny. You're terrible. As a human being, you, you are terrible. You're evil, vile, stupid. You're just like every other feminist. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace, the game.